We want the same things. The best educational environment for our students, fair and equitable compensation, academic excellence, and financial stability for the district we love. Our disagreement being heard at the Michigan Employment Relations Commission is the right venue for this conversation, not an aggressive or inappropriate venue. If it were, it would be aggressive on both sides. As we have seen in this historic week at the Supreme Court, this is how we sometimes need to get things done, through civil discourse and process. Please, let me finish. Whatever the outcome of the board and whatever the outcome, the board and the AADA will move forward together. We have been good partners in the past and we will be again in the future. And we have high hopes the dispute will be resolved in the very near future. Why did you hire The board's willingness, please, please, I will I will accept, please. The board's willingness to negotiate could not be clearer in the settling of all our other contracts through collaborative problem solving and, yes, formal negotiations. We have completed six of seven contract negotiations successfully and have given a 1% off schedule payment to all 500 plus employees involved, including those administrators that are not in bargaining unit and excluding the superintendent. They all took the same concessions and freezes as the teachers as part of the same negotiation process. We also asked whether we could do any of the kinds of things we have done in other settled contracts for the teachers and were told legally no, not without formal contract negotiations. But regardless, as for the AAB and contract, let me assure the parents and teachers and students out there that come July 1st, very little will change. Salaries and benefits and working conditions, and yes, the contingency clause, are all still part of the contract and subject to negotiations moving forward. The contract will be in a state put mode, meaning that currently what is in the contract and allowed by law will continue to remain in place. What will change, please, let me finish. What will change is that the prohibitive subjects those things no longer bargained for by state law since 2011 will no longer be part of the agreement. These include things like teacher placement, evaluation, layoffs, and discipline. But removing them from the contract does not mean that due process or other procedures around these matters don't exist. It just means they are a matter, please let me finish. They are a matter of board policy, not unlike a myriad of other things guiding and regulating the district. We pass these policies in case of a void that needed to be filled for everyone's benefit moving forward. Finally.